Hi guys, so I recently made a really difficult decision and it was a difficult decision. It has been something that I've thought about for quite a long time now and I suppose my hand was a little bit, well not forced, but pushed when I came to sell quite a bit of my investment portfolio. So if you haven't watched that video, um, I will link to it here somewhere. And I had to make a decision where to take those investments from. And considering I'd been thinking about leaving the free trade platform for some time, I thought about it some more and decided that it was time. So the first thing I want to say is that I'm still going to be recommending free trade as a platform to use. I still think that, especially for beginners, it is a brilliant platform. It's where I started. It was the first platform I ever used to invest. So I do think that if you are a total beginner, I still think it's unparalleled in how easy to use it is and the user interface and all of that. So please don't think that me leaving free trade means that I'm saying it's a bad platform in any way, shape or form. I am not. Um, it has been a personal decision that I will explain, but I again want to be really transparent. So I will explain all of my reasons um, and there's not just one. So yeah. So the first thing that initially started this thing at the back of my head that I wasn't quite too happy with, um, but it wasn't enough to make me leave. I think it takes a lot. Like I've said before, I use multiple platforms. I have a video explaining all my reasoning why I use multiple platforms. I will never just have all my investments in one place. So, you know, every platform that I use has pros and cons. There's no perfect platform where everyone would be using it. So, you know, just because this happened, it wasn't enough to make me leave, but it was just a bit of a niggle like, hmm, okay, I don't really like this. Um, and it was a pro account. So I wasn't really a fan of the fact that a platform that calls themselves a free trade uh, went and did like a pro account. But, you know, platforms need to make money and multiple platforms have some version of free and pro. So fair enough. But I think for me, the thing I didn't like the most about the pro account uh, was putting certain stocks behind a price wall because I don't think that's, I guess, as fair. Um, and I did think it was quite pricey. Obviously you could put in 4,000 pounds, I think it was 4,000 uh, pounds in cash. And then the interest you would have earned because they had a high interest rate for pro accounts would have basically offset the amount. But to me, that sort of defeats the purpose of offering a high interest account because essentially you're not really gaining from it. You're just using it to offset the pro account. So that was like the first thing, but like I said, it wasn't enough to make me leave. I still really like the platform and I did get to try out the pro account. Um, I got a almost trial for free um, just to see how it was, but I don't think that I would have paid as much as they were asking. So that's the first thing. The second reason was the customer service I felt was really, really going downhill. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you will know that I value customer service like above anything else. And I have done polls on my Instagram before and a lot of you guys feel the same. So one of the reasons that I really liked free trade at the beginning when they were quite new was that I genuinely felt like they had some of the best customer service that I'd ever experienced. But as they were growing, I sort of noticed that customer service slipping a little bit. It started becoming a lot more difficult to contact them. There was that live chat function that I really liked where everyone was amazing. I think it became more difficult to access and you know they stopped replying to emails as much and all that kind of stuff. So that again started grating on me because like I said, customer service is mega important to me. Um, so that was almost like the second strike and 
The third thing that I will mention that it's not a reason why I'm personally leaving, but it's something that I've mentioned to people that I wasn't a particular fan of. Um, it was the three pounds per month ISA fee. I would have never, you know, people ask me whether they should use free trade for their ISA and what I thought of the fee. Um, so I might as well address it now. I think it is completely pointless. I wouldn't pay for an ISA in that way. Um, I think if you have a lot of money, then yeah, fine, you know, flat fee over a percentage fee, of course. Um, but I don't exactly have hundreds of thousands of pounds in my investments. So for me and for like beginner investors, which I personally see free trade as, you know, that's who they aim at. At least that's what I see from their marketing. Um, I wouldn't really recommend paying that. I think it would be cheaper to use a platform like Trading212, although I know they're not really taking new customers. Um, and the final thing, um, so I guess for me, the final straw almost, um, and like I said, I'm gonna be completely transparent here, um, is how they treated content creators uh, with the recent, how do I call it, um, issues. Um, so obviously a lot of content creators work with platforms. Um, I'm sure there are some that take advantage, but for the most part, from what I've known, for the people I know, creators I know myself, we work with platforms that we like, and we genuinely use and are happy to promote. And most platforms, you know, reward that and recognize that. And whether it's something like with Trading212, where they lifted the cap where you used to have, I think, a maximum uh, amount of free shares that you could get for referrals, um, they lifted that. Other platforms may have other incentives, whatever it is. It is a nice way to be rewarded. The other thing is that most platforms have a way of respecting content creators and being able to have discussions. So there may be platforms where they may not have great incentives um, in terms of affiliates and things like that, but at least you can talk to them and have proper customer service. And it's again, going back to that point of customer service. And what happened recently, um, if you noticed, uh, Free Trade added a limit on the number of free shares. Now, again, that wasn't the point at which I decided to leave because it wasn't really a deal breaker. Like it's something that other platforms probably have had and things like that. So again, something that just annoyed me, but it wasn't the final push yet, almost. But again, that wasn't communicated to content creators beforehand. It just kind of got sprung on, on everyone. And then the final straw for me, where I was like, okay, you know what? The customer service here is just gone, was when Free Trade decided to come out and send a push notification to everyone saying, you are no longer allowed to promote these links. Now, I know why it happened. I know there was a big issue and they've had problems with the FCA and everything like that. So totally understand it. And you know, you can still go back to, I guess, that initial, where I first started using it, where you had to just email the link to people. So, you know, someone would email me or message me and say, can I have a link and I'd send it. Not the end of the world at all. It's not about not being able to just stick the link in my social media. It's the fact that it wasn't communicated in any way. And it feels so disrespectful to people who have helped almost build the platform that for me, it was the biggest push that I needed to prove that their customer service is gone, um, that they feel like they've grown enough now that they don't really provide that customer service anymore. Obviously for people who don't care as much about customer service or haven't been touched by it in that way, it may not be a deal breaker, but for me it is. And I've genuinely gone back to companies previously who've wanted to work with me and said, I can't work with you because your customer service reputation is rubbish. Um, and I just feel like for me personally, free trade has entered that territory of you haven't really treated me very well um, as a customer, so I'm gonna go. Um, like I said, I still think that they are a great platform if you're new, if you want to get into investing, all of that. I just have priorities and 
things that I care about and yeah. Like I said, it was a tough decision and I was still thinking about do I, don't I and everything like that. But then when it came to making the decision, okay, I'm gonna sell 5K of my investments, what do I do? Okay, maybe this is the point at which I just withdraw those investments from free trade and make it happen. Okay, I thought this video was gonna be like three minutes long. Um, it doesn't seem that way. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Again, I just wanted to be transparent. And if you have any questions, uh, just post them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or nights, depending on when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.